All right, guys, welcome back. We got the Paragon Gauntlet for uh, this month. I'm going in with Cassie, Blade, and um, and uh, Angela. We're going to start off with Blade because you need someone who can put on some bleeds for this box. I believe uh, like Venom is going to be pretty awesome for the entire quest, but this is on my uh second account uh actually ended up getting to the paragon gauntlet first um just between doing two accounts this one got there first and this is what i ended up using found some uh good use as a global uh as like a saga attacker or defender because you got to use those if you want to get the objective as well so that's why we're using it we're going to go blade here against this vox uh it does take a little bit of time because of the uh unblockable um and I'm not super great for some reason still. I guess I don't fight Vox a lot. I do try to push him to a special two. Also on this fight, you have to go five hit combos or else you are going to um, uh, glance your, your attacks. So five hit combos, gotta get bleeds, watch out for the unblockable. Uh, after you do that, it's not too bad. It's kind of rinse and repeat. I do try to get into a habit of evading his special one, even if it's unblockable. It really isn't that bad. It's just one of those things where if you don't fight a certain champion, you don't really know the timing so well. I probably should work on that for this one, but we do get him down. So I'm going to fast forward through the rest of the fight, and I'll show you what I did for the next one. Okay, next up we've got Psycho Man. This is the one that he's got some auto block, and uh, I just used Angela here because at least, especially at Sig 200, if she has some buffs, she can counter the auto block uh, pretty easily. Uh, and after that, it's not too bad. Just bait the special ones. Don't want to deal with any unblockable uh, like special twos. Uh, also, there is, if you parry twice and then attack in like that, you'll get faltered, so you have to stagger your parries. You can parry and then go ahead and do some attacks, and then wait till that gray timer disappears after your parry in order to parry again. Uh, so to be, other than that, nothing too bad. You can see there I got the parry in. Now I'm just going to wait, bait out the specials, uh, and then go ahead and I can parry one more time. I do get hit a couple times in this one. It's not too bad. I end up actually, I think, healing up almost to full by the end of the fight. You can see there, again, I kind of just forgot about the falter, uh, which is why I'm mentioning it now. 
<laughs> make a mistake, learn from it, and go from there. So I'll let the uh, the rest of this fight is actually pretty quickly. I guess pretty quick uh, with Angela. And again, I am using my top champions because <laughs> it is the uh, Paragon Gauntlet. It is not like a side quest where I'm going in with lower level champions here. Here, I'm just going in with my best and try and get through it as best I can and itemless if possible. Uh, so that is the second fight down. Also, to get the objective, make sure when you go to the uh, choice node, you do the skip choice. You can't change champions. Uh, the next one is Valkyrie. Uh, it can be a little annoying. You need someone who can kind of deal with uh, the evade because uh, the other thing is you're going to, every time she throws a special, you have to do a heavy in order to avoid taking uh, some burst damage. And you're going to, she's got quite the evade here. So um, I'm just going with uh, like parry two, three hit combos for the mo for the majority of the fight and try to limit uh, the chances that she can uh, evade. And yeah, that's not too bad. Angela is just, it's slow and steady here, but she hits really hard. And again, as this, I counter, you can see here, I tried countering her special one with a heavy, but because of the evade, I wasn't able to do it. And there I get a heavy off, I think just in the nick of time, not to take the burst damage. So got a little bit lucky there, but that's fine. And again here, right after the special one here, I'm going to go ahead, throw a striker, then a heavy attack. It lands and it removes that timer that gives me that burst damage. And we get through it quite nicely with Angela. Uh, next up is going to be uh, also Angela fight with against Overseer. Again, he's got the auto block. Angela is going to work great because if she has a couple buffs, she can counter his auto block. And the main thing with him is the Bane. So uh, Bane is when you, whoever gets hit, uh, if you hit, as soon as you hit Overseer, he's going to get a degen timer on him and he's going to start degening away. But if as soon as he uh, hits you or when that timer runs out, the Bane transfers over to you. So you have to time it so that as soon as it's, see, it's it transferred onto me and I'm taking a bunch of degen until I hit him, transfer it back on. So ideally you want someone uh, against for overseer that you can uh, safely hit into you can see after the special I hit in and it worked out perfectly just as the Bane timer was expiring I hit into him and it transfers over onto the overseer if you can't then you are going to die from that Bane damage it is quite a lot on this particular uh, fight uh, quite a bit of Bane damage so this works out great here with Angela because, again, I can hit in freely right after a special there and don't have to worry about the auto block, and we take him down pretty easily. Uh, next up again, make sure the choice node. You do skip choice node. And then I brought in Cassie as a shock immune champion for uh, Beta Ray Bill. And um, that's the main thing that I was worried about is he does put on quite a bit of shocks on this one. And I don't even know if I play this one particularly well, but I try and take advantage of being able to shrink down and get some of those power stings on him. I was trying to figure out the timing on possibly countering the end of that special one with a shrink down like heavy attack. But for the most part, uh, again, I'm just worried about he's got some power gain there. I don't want to get hit by a special three. I kind of messed up there, got hit by the end of the special two. Uh, Cassie also has access to taunt here so I can keep him throwing specials. Unfortunately, again, I get clipped, but I'm shock immune, so it's not so bad. Uh, and again, in this one, I was trying to figure out where could I get my openings in to try and get a few extra power stings on Beta Ray Bill, there we get the special one with the taunt with five power stings, they refresh, so that's fine. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a few more power stings. He decides to throw that special one, 
great I, there. I see I tried to shrink down there, get a nice little combo heavy into a special one. Very nice. Gets those power stings refreshed. Again, shrink down to counter his special one into a striker, into another heavy. We got 17 power stings on. He th it throws that special, which is great. And we can go hit and again, grab the, put the poison on uh, with a light ending combo once you have some pim charges. And again, he's got those 17 power stings and we manage to uh, counter the end of his special one with another heavy. We get up to 23 power stings there. He's throwing it again. And luckily he dies there from the power stings before I get hit. So Cassie did a phenomenal job on Beta Ray Bill. Last is the Enchantress, which is driving everybody nuts at the moment. But the main thing to remember is orange is an, you counter with an intercept. Green, you counter with a, he a heavy counter. And purple, you have to do a knockdown. So here, I'm going to go with Angela here. And I see I've got green and orange so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bait um the heavy attack there we go and then quickly dash back intercept she comes in and that's how i get my intercept in i just try and do it immediately after doing the heavy one hit in dash back she comes in and go ahead and get my uh intercept in here i see it's purple charges that's great i'm just gonna do a heavy attack and they're gone and i can go ahead and continue hitting in and getting my damage without worrying about any reflected damage from the special one. There she throws a heavy attack, fine, no problem. And now I, she throws that special one. I got all three, I got green, purple, and orange. So again, I'm gonna hold block, wait till the end of that special one, one hit, dash back, get my intercept, then throw my special for the knockdown. All three done pretty uh, nicely there. And that's, kind of how I've been trying to do this. It does not always work out as nice, but here we have just green. So we're just gonna go ahead, hold block, hold it again to see if she'll throw the heavy attack. One hit and all, that's, all those spells are gone. It was just three of the green. And there again, I end up going for an intercept and a special two. And that just about does it for me. I'm gonna try and bait out one more heavy attack. And that is the Paragon Gauntlet itemless for this month. Hope that helps out, uh, helps you out guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.